Hey guys, welcome on back to my channel. So first I'm gonna do a little blah, 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 because this part is really important. I'm gonna be honest, I do like this machine, but when it was shipped to me, that knob in the center is an incredibly important. I didn't see anything about it in the manual. It wasn't even attached to the machine. So I was like, is this a defect? Do I need that knob in the middle? What's going on? So I went on YouTube, looked at all of those videos. None of the videos talked about that knob in the center. So me being the non-handy person I am and a freaking idiot apparently, made the coffee without that knob in the middle. It just has a big hole in the center. The coffee comes out of it at like a hundred miles an hour. So it got on my ceiling, my floor, my walls, like the vent thing that goes over your stove. I'm still finding coffee in that thing randomly. So my first piece of advice, if you guys have this, which it is an awesome, awesome piece of equipment for coffee lovers, make sure that knob is first of all included when you get it in the mail and that it is attached and you have to pull it up. Really important. The top part has a perforated tab that says H2O. That's gonna be your fill line. So fill your water to the top and then just transfer it to the bottom. Just always make sure you use icy cold filtered water. That's gonna give you the best results. Now the type of beans or brand that you use, it's a personal preference thing, but that's also why I love the mocha pot instead of a K-cup, because you're not locked into what they sell. You can try different things. And this was on sale, it usually isn't, so it was a good steal. And you can see the texture of it is like a powder. So regardless of what you get, I would recommend if you like the style of espresso that I do, which is the one where there's a little bit of that residue on the bottom, that's almost like a Greek or Turkish style, I guess you would say, then you wanna get it ground like a powder, whether you're doing it yourself or you're buying the espresso. And then I just pack it in lightly. There's controversy on that, but I think packing it in just a little bit makes it better. Okay, we're gonna screw our top onto the bottom and we're ready to roll. And those are my only main tips, just really cold water espresso that's ground like a powder and pack it in. I always use the highest heat setting and my biggest key tip here is to make sure you never walk away. This coffee happens so quickly, it's gonna be really loud and it might scare the crap out of you. No, it will, it will. <laughs> the first time, maybe the second time, maybe every time you make it. And a lot of videos say to take off the heat right away, you'll notice, no, I'm not doing that. I left it on about 10 seconds to develop that crema and then pull it right off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this out. You guys can see that there's real crema. And I have to laugh because I'm just thinking about when I was watching YouTube videos on this. Some of them are Italian, so you know, they offer really great tips, but almost all of them bitched about the fact that this not real crema or this crema not thick enough. It's like fake crema, I think is what they were calling it. And I'm just laughing because it's like, dude, go bark up another tree then, buy a freaking $5,000 machine. Like what the hell? And for a special twist, if you wanna make an iced cappuccino, Chill your espresso and then pour it over tons of ice. And on top of that, I'm adding cold foamed milk. And you would make that, you don't need any special equipment. Just make it the same way you would whipped cream by hand with a whisk, cold milk, cold bowl. Don't you love the marbleization of that? That's the perfect iced cappuccino. Ooh, you can add vanilla syrup to this too, by the way. Delish. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe and have an amazing day.